Modern marine engines are reliable when properly serviced, and while they are not infallible, a handful of easily remedied problems are responsible for a high percentage of failures. Use a checklist to track and perform regular maintenance tasks. And before setting out, check fuel and oil levels, not by relying on gauges, but by dipping the tanks. Inspect drive belts for wear and tightness. Look for oil and coolant leaks. Check fuel filters for water and dirt. Drain off any contaminants until the fuel in the glass bowl by the filter is clear. If, despite your vigilance, your outboard, inboard, or I.O. engine fails, follow these tips. If your engine won't start, it's most likely an electrical issue. Low or dead battery or break somewhere in the ignition circuit. Check the engine cutoff switch. Make sure the throttle is in neutral. Pay special attention to the starter switch itself. Sometimes a dash-mounted ignition switch fitting will become loose, allowing the entire mechanism to turn with the key. Get behind the dash and tighten up retaining nuts or mounting screws. If the starter groans but won't engage, it could be a low battery, but it might be a loose or poor connection. Clean your wiring. Carry screwdrivers with insulated handles, a wrench set, and a battery charger. Someone could have bumped the engine cutoff switch. Make sure the lanyard hasn't come loose. Or you could be suffering the most common reason for marine rescue calls, running out of fuel. Know your boat's burn rate and operating range. Fill the tank before boating and abide by the rule of thirds. A third to go out, a third to return, and a third in reserve for the unexpected. Sediment on the bottom of your fuel tank could have shaken loose in a rough sea, sucked into the fuel system, and blocked the filters. Otherwise, it's likely electrical, a blown fuse, tripped breaker, loose connection, or corrosion. Check the ignition switch for loose wiring and inspect its fuse or breaker. Look for corrosion at the battery terminals and the engine end of the wires. Clean with a wire brush and treat with anti-corrosion spray. If your engine is sputtering and losing power, check for a filter problem or fouled plugs. Replace the inline fuel filter or at least remove any debris from the filter element and drain any accumulated water. Ventilate the engine compartment thoroughly before restarting. Leaving a fuel tank near empty for long periods can cause condensation and water in the gas. For long-term storage, fill the tank and consider a fuel stabilizer. If it isn't the gas, it might be the spark plugs, especially on an older outboard. Carry spares, along with tools to change them. If your throttle is not engaging the transmission, it's probably stuck or has a broken linkage. Start at the gearbox to make sure the cable hasn't become detached from the shift lever on the transmission housing. If internal corrosion has caused the cable to stick, try wiggling it free or shift manually at the engine transmission. If the problem is on the transmission side of the linkage, it might be a failure caused by lack of fluid or gear oil. So, carry extra transmission fluid and cable ties for quick linkage repair. Overheating almost always means a lack of water flow in the cooling loop. If water stops flowing, the engine heats up and can ultimately fail. Trace the source. Usually, the problem is an obstruction in the raw water intake weeds, mud, or a plastic bag. Locate the intake and clean it out. A loose hose clamp or a split or burst hose can also slow water flow. Check the impeller and look at the condition of its housing. Scarring or pitting of the metal housing can cause even a good impeller to lose pumping power. Carry a soft wire or rod to snake intake clogs. Vibration from the propeller or the engine racing while the boat loses speed likely means something's gone wrong with the prop trim up the engine to inspect it. If a nick or gouged blade is creating imbalance, slow down and concentrate on getting to shore. If a rope or line snarls the shaft, remove the prop and clean it out. Consider carrying a spare prop along with gloves to protect hands from blades and the correct wrench to make the swap. To prevent serious damage, take immediate action if your engine alarm sounds. Take the engine out of gear and, with the engine idling in neutral, check which warning light is on low oil pressure, overheating, or battery not charging. Shut down the engine. Check for block filters, air, fuel, oil, and raw water inlet, and clean or replace as needed. Inspect for leaking water hoses and repair, for exhaust pipe blockage and clear, for low engine and gearbox oil levels and add oil, for water pump impeller failure 
and replace, and for worn alternator or water pump drive belts, and replace if they're frayed or shiny. To learn more, take an engine maintenance course that covers how to diagnose problems, bleed a fuel system, and carry out preventive servicing. Keep a full set of consumable spares on board, such as filters, belts, hoses, and impellers. Have the tools necessary to fit them. Before making a repair while underway, if possible, boat into sheltered waters.